Hi everyone, Dr. K, naturopathic sports medicine doctor. Today talking to you about the summary that we chatted about last month in the podcast. So we did a live podcast and we talked all about sleep. It was a 30 minute podcast. So if you didn't have a chance to catch it or you want more details, absolutely refer back to that March 25th. However, if I just wanted to summarize a couple of key things that we chatted about during that, that segment. So sleep is so, so important. And as I've mentioned before in the three pillars of health, it is absolutely one of the pillars mm -hmm. and we need sleep to, to heal, to rest, to create memories, to grow, to focus, to be in a good mood, to have good reaction time. It impacts our hormonal health and our immune function. So literally every single function of our body depends on good quality sleep. So we did talk about the non-REM and REM sleep. I won't go too much into that just because you can refer back, but what we're doing in our daily lives that interferes with sleep is ignoring fatigue signals. So just kind of pushing through, you know, if you have a project due or you're working late, you're really tired, but hey, you're trying to push through, right? Ignoring the fatigue signals, shift work, alcohol, sleeping too much or actually too little, that can mess with your whole circadian rhythm of getting into that cycle of going to sleep and waking up at the same time every day, even on the weekends doing all-nighters, eating late, using caffeine and nicotine, because those are both stimulants. Of course, we have medical conditions that affect sleep. So whether it be anxiety or pain or thyroid issues, you really do want to get down to the root cause of what is going on and what is isn't impacting sleep just because it is so important. So it's not necessarily, you know, just not having, making time for sleep, but it can be an underlying issue that's going on. Um, sleep apnea as well is, is a big one when it comes to sleep quality. And what's happening to us? You know, what's the big deal about not getting sleep? Well, first of all, we're not getting all of the benefits I talked about at the beginning, but also we're increasing our risk for heart disease, kidney disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, stroke, mental health concerns. So even just with that lack of sleep, we're already predisposing ourselves to anxiety and depression, which is very significant because they're very tightly linked together. Um, so how might that show up in daily life is trouble making decisions, being very irritable, using food for energy. So you're just so tired that you're trying to eat to keep going. Uh, depression, low mood, suicide risk, poor immune function, hormonal changes, and disturbances in the menstrual cycle. So there's a ton of chemicals involved in sleep and all that good stuff. And as I say, the more details are in the, the segment that we did. But the main things to, to take away is what you can do is making sleep a priority, getting into a routine. You know, we've you've probably heard ad nauseum about the blue light glasses and making sure that you're reducing your exposure to heavy light before bed. Another way to get into it is watching the sunrise and sunset. So we are very cued by our environment. So that also is, you know, something that you can do. Setting a reminder on your phone, like, hey, this is, you know, we've got an hour before we have to be asleep. So let's start getting into that routine. You want to make sure that you're not doing huge, heavy workouts before bed as well, because that'll rev you up. Being cautious with nicotine, caffeine because of the stimulants spend time being outside or physically moving your body in whatever way that you can. And then of course, like the environment of your room, you want to make sure that it's quiet, it's dark, it's a little bit cool so that you're able to just get all cozy in your bed. Um, and then, you know, maybe you're using meditation, relaxation techniques before bed as well. But if you need help with sleep, absolutely go ahead, look at drknaturopath.com, book in or have a consult so that you can start incorporating sleep into, into your life because you want to make sure that you're not just cutting it out and, and subbing in, in you know extra work or whatever the case may be. All right, guys, sleep, super important. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.